And that's they why they want to add their they damn input so they often. Care. That's yeah. why they yeah. always add their two cents. Yeah. That was definitely not asked not for. <laughs> it's an unsolicited advice is what I like yeah. to call yeah. it. But the thing about it is, is that I appreciate that somebody actually calls me and cares. Mm -hmm. My dad is in Nigeria right now and will call me and be like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, I thought you were enjoying Nigeria. Aren't you, aren't you on vacation? Yeah, I can't see how my home is doing. I'm like, oh, we're fine. Everything is going well. My mom will call me. Hey, I just want to see if you're all right. And I'll be like, aren't you at work? And I always have to like stop myself and be like, please thank you. It's your little backhanded comment. Like, yeah. but, hey, <laughs> thanks for calling, mom. Like, yeah. and, right? and you know, and I can be so slick with yeah. it. I can be snarky. I can respond like, but I'll be like, you know what? I am grateful to have parents yeah. that actually will pick up the phone and make sure that I'm yeah. okay. Right? Yeah. Like that wanted to, you know. That one. Yeah. Exactly. And not only just me, my husband too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The way they love him like their own son, mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know? that's so cool. And yeah. it, it is just something that, like, it's truly a blessing, Yeah, you know? And so I appreciate um, our backgrounds for, you know, just the family orientation, things like that, you know? But I am also at a place, I don't know how y'all feel about this, is that, because I know we're sharing all these experiences, but mm -hmm. I'm at a place, too, where I had, I ha at least, was it last year, a year and a half ago, I had to learn how to stop blaming them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had to learn how to stop blaming them for the things that they couldn't teach me. Yeah. Because they didn't know. Right. They, they didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah. You know, and um, a lot of times, too, when I was, like, thinking back when I was growing up is that um, my mom would pour from an empty cup all the time. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that. Mm -hmm. I, At least for me, I know I can't do that. Yeah. But I, it, I feel like they had. They feel like they had to because yeah. they're like, "Look, we got a family. We got to raise. We got to do this. Mm -hmm. We got to do that." Everything was for us, mm -hmm. and that's why sometimes I'm like, you know what? Okay, that's my grace. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah. I am teaching my mom now. Like my mom just came back from Ireland, child. Like she can't tell her nothing. Oh, wow. um, <laughs> and she just came back on vacation, and it makes me so happy. And it's beautiful to watch her um, enjoy herself now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. And I tell her all the time, you know, I, I love that you're enjoying yourself, but I'm not starting late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I started that in my teens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I started that a long time ago. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. if I had to sneak behind your mm -hmm. back and do it. Yeah. I started it a long time <laughs> right? ago. I was having fun. Yeah. So, like, you know, it's just, it is a blessing to have parents. Right. It is a blessing to to have these uh, parents with from different uh, types of backgrounds and cultures. And um, I think that it's amazing that we have front row seats mm -hmm. to their journey because it also mm -hmm. teaches us what we don't want to take mm -hmm. with yeah. our generation. Yes. But, you know, but yes. it also, it, there are some things that I want to keep. Yeah. 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 There are some things yeah. that I do want to keep. Sometimes we have to remember also that this is our parents' first time living too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they have, there was no manual for how they, they should raise us or whatever. <sighs> coming and in, still they were not. Iron that part. And still not. And coming into a completely different culture yeah. and yeah. leaving their own. You know what I mean? So it's mm. like, you know. See, they to took their parents place. and they followed exactly what they did. Yeah. We take our parents and we take the things we want, but we also leave the things we don't want behind. Right. We're breaking it. Mm. Yeah. Which is, I don't know at what point that became the norm, but I'm proud of us for that. Right. You yes, know? yes. Like, they, they definitely took and they followed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We we detached. We yeah. became a little more detachable. But no, you're absolutely right. There are things I absolutely want to take from my... I want to be just as nurturing as my mother was to me. Mm. As oh, I, my I, God. I pray to God I'm, I'm that type of mother to my kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My yeah. mom was probably too nurturing. Yeah. To where it was like we were like suffocated. Ooh, like man. I'll be like, Mom, okay. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm around my mom. Did you eat today? Oh my God, let me go downstairs real quick. Yeah. Oh, let me go ahead and do this. To this day, my mom be trying know? to send me DoorDashes and Uber Eats, and I'm like, Mom, I have a whole fridge full of food. She's like, Okay, but just let me send you food too, so you don't have to cook. I'm like, I'm a 30 year old woman. I'm they don't. Okay. You're still a baby. Sure. You're yeah. still they their have to make baby. Sure they're okay. They gotta. Make they sure. have to make sure, and they know that. They're not necessarily paying your bills or doing mm -hmm. all these things. They know that, mm -hmm. but it's just something about that's my child, yeah. you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And maybe we won't understand until we're parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they you know? also want to feel like they're needed too. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, that's a yeah. big yes. part. They, that's a big yes. part of it. They can't let that part go. Because yes. We've needed them from what, from zero to whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for the, for us to be on our own in our 30s and doing our own thing, they don't want to feel like they got left behind. I still need my mama. You know? Yeah. No. no I still need my yeah. mama. I still call like, how do I make this? Like, I forgot nah, how to do this. Nah, that's, that's mega know? facts. I also think, yeah. you know, that, that part that Aaron was saying about your parents needing you, I think that is very real, especially for, number one, independent women and men mm. to their fathers and mothers. Yeah. Because 
you know, they raised you in the right way. And it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, hey, bro, don't forget me, dog. Like, yeah. I know you big. You're yes. doing your own thing. Yes. But don't forget me. Yeah. Don't mm. forget me. And, and I think that's very big. Because we are we can easily forget people. What you mean? This generation, we don't call nobody? No. We don't right. check up on nobody? No. We don't, we no. don't do that. And that's something that my, that's what my parents can't stand it. Mm. Especially yeah. my dad. My dad will tell me, you mean to tell me you guys have a father that's alive and y'all haven't called me in four days? Oh and I'm like, <laughs> or you didn't call your 20 aunts and uncles for New Year's and Christmas? 20. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't tell me. Because I texted instead? 20, man. Oh girl, right. when I got married, oh, I got it the worst. Oh. You didn't tell your cousin that you were, you were, you were engaged. And I was like, I don't talk to that cousin. Yeah. Okay. If they want to see us on social media. Dog, we, we, we right, right there. I'll let y'all know through social media. Bro, we are I'm, right there at this point in time. We don't have a relationship, mom. Yeah. Yes. You should be building relationships. I'm like, should I? At this point, it's a situation where you say, I'm like, you know, that was fine. You can pick up the phone and call yes. me. And call me too. Because yeah. I told my mom, guess what? They know I got engaged. Yeah. That's why they called you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Messy. They exactly. could have called you to say, <laughs> Yeah, it's, they, they didn't call me, they called you. Yeah. They called you so they know. Yes. Exactly. So it's not up. like, oh, I didn't know. No, you knew. You, you knew. knew. That's you why knew. you called. Exactly. Straight it's up. just so weird. And it's so just, you're like, just mad that I didn't call you. Yes. And and you know, that's that's yeah, one yeah, of the yeah, things. That's really what it is. But you yeah. know, that's one of the things that we don't we don't always agree on, yeah. me and my parents, is that you know, they when they the way they grew up. The whole family got to know something. Yeah, yeah. it's a community-based it thing. Mouth. They have to hear it through your yeah. mouth, or they won't believe yeah. it. Yeah, and I'm like, first of all, bye, boo. Um, first of all, it's not. Um, mm -hmm. It is not even your. How can I put it? How can I put it? Um, I just, for me, I don't feel the need to create forced relationships at this age. I truly feel like, you know, I'm at a place where I love the community that I've, that I've created or that has been given to me. And those that want to be in it, please come, feel free to come yeah. in. But I'm also not going to make you, I'm not going to pull a It's team also right. your yeah. day. Yeah. People yeah. should, and I have a strong believer, if it's your, they should be reaching out to you to congratulate. Why do I have to go mm. out of my way to say, hey, to I'm, say, hey, I'm engaged yeah. Yeah. and yeah. beg you for, a, oh, congrats. Yeah. You know? No, like, where do you go from there? Yeah. Like, what more from? Okay, oh, I got married. You, everybody, it's word of mouth. They used to spread messages with pigeons. Yeah. I'm sure they know you're engaged. Pigeons. Yes. You know? You better hope it landed in the right spot, somebody too. Somebody posted my post, you know what I mean? Like, Come on. They know. know. Come on. Like, my mom's going to repost this, so Straight everyone up. in the Philippines is going to find out that we engaged. They will. They, they will, will be okay. And the thing about it is, like I tell my mom, if they cared enough, they would just text me, congratulations. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's not that hard. That's all. But they didn't care. They cared to be petty. They cared to be mm -hmm. messy. They cared to... It's Jab. just, yeah. yeah. Why do we have to, like, you know, something that my, me and my parents don't agree on all the time is that everything is community based. Everybody has to know if there's a problem, we all have to pitch in. No, you don't. Mm. There mm. are some battles yeah. that are best, like, fought inside of someone else's yeah. home with those right. people. Can Let them figure it out. Can it be private? Can it be private? Yeah. yeah Not yeah. everything needs to be brought to the public. Yeah. Yeah. That This generation now, everything is posted. Yes. We're exposing people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, and, and, it's, and it's just like, why do we, we don't have to do that. Right? Nah, we don't. And that's something that I had to unlearn as well. Because yeah. I remember thinking that I had to absolve the problems of family, the immediate family. Yeah. And Aaron was telling me like, look, is your name? No, it's not. Aaron, so it ain't your problem. I just love yeah. you, sis. Because <laughs> let me tell you, I'm so glad that you told Jeff that. Because for a long time, I feel Jeff. That mm -hmm. was me. Mm -hmm. That was me. Because I always felt like, well, I need to... I need to make sure that I just dis dissolve the whole problem. Right. I need to, who gave me that job? Right. I gave me yeah, that job. Right. Nobody, and now that? I'm wondering why I'm mad at my mom for making me do something. Right. Because I volunteered myself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nobody asked for my help. Right. And now that you make, you know when you make yourself so present sometimes? Yes. And you make yourself so available, you mm -hmm. forget where, where who you are. Yeah. You get so engulfed with other people mm -hmm. that you don't even take the time to spend time with yourself. Yes. With Date yourself. yourself mm -hmm. Study yourself. And we wonder why we have failed relationships right. now. Yeah. Right. Bro. Because we're yeah. so consumed with over there yeah. And not over here. Yeah. And that's exactly like what staying I in your lane, too. mind your own business. Yeah. 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 Like, I felt the same way. Like, for, you know, everyone always thinks I'm the older sister between, or the oldest one between the three of us or whatever, because I'm always taking care of my brothers, always taking care of my family. And I learned that lesson the hardest way. You know what I mean? I was like, I have to choose me first because at this point, it's affecting my physical health 
and my mental health yeah. and like I can't see outside you're tired else. you're exhausted exactly and yeah. I was like it's not my mm. responsibility exercise with yes. the word no exactly yeah. Yeah. Boundaries. creating that boundary right? creating that boundary right. and that, that's something that Aaron and I have really cultivated between us and that I put as a priority is to use your voice because because yeah. you he taught me that yeah he taught me how to use my voice that step part yeah. that part Girl. of the timeline where I was uh cut off was the most peaceful time of my life I didn't yeah, even have to say no. Hard. I didn't yes. have to say yeah. no. I don't have to answer to nobody. I didn't have to answer right. to nobody. And my Ooh. husband barely asked questions. Mm. It's just something with. about saying no. Like, no I planned my whole wedding the way I wanted my wedding to be planned. Yeah. Yeah. Think about and, that. It should be that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's only because there was a cutoff. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But you know, sometimes those are blessings in disguise. Those blessings in disguise. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Those sometimes they're blessings in disguise. And sometimes our parents will not understand no until we react. Yeah. Until you snap. And then their feelings are hurt. Their mm-hmm. feelings are hurt. And instead of them to say, hey, you hurt my feelings, all hell breaks loose. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're, you know, you're the, the worst daughter in the world. Suddenly you are disobedient. Mm-hmm. You are the bad child. You've you never are the done bad a single egg. thing for yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, oh, you oh, are just oh, so yes. selfish. Yes. Selfish. Yes. Selfish. Yes. selfish. Right. Like Bro. I sacrificed how much of my life for y'all? What? Yeah. It took care of all. Uh, you were the older yes. sister. Bro. That's right. To the point where everyone thought I was the older sister. To the point where I had to sacrifice school. Where and do you fall in the group of, age group of your kids? I'm the middle child. You're the middle? No, That's crazier. Wow. <laughs> How many of y'all is there? Two. Two, two brothers. And you never hear about the middle child being the oldest. The middle never. child is the middle child. Yeah. yeah. I have cousins now that are like, I forget that you're not the oldest one. I'm like, oh. It'd be like, man. You are pretty mature. You know what I'm saying? Either because you were calm, very available collected. growing up, clearly. Yeah. 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 Mm. You seem very grounded. Mm. Yeah. And that's what's crazy to me because it's like, yo... You're very firm in some things, but then when you tell me about stuff in private, it's like you you don't have that uh, that confidence. I'm like, mm. baby, use your voice because she's mm. giving you her emotional guard down version. Yeah. yeah, she's 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 maintaining a fit front for her family, but you get the real authentic raw version. No, right. and of course, and and that's something that I learned too mm-hmm. is that what how we are in private ain't the same way that we are in public. Because no. Latinos, we the same fucking way on <laughs> Christmas. Monday, uh, <laughs> 4th of July. Yeah. I ain't changing. I'm going to be loud. <laughs> I'm going to be loud. I'm going to cuss. Yeah, we're naturally loud. Yeah, mm-hmm. naturally. Yeah. And, and But see, that's how I grew up. Yeah. Same. Right. But again, you know, it, that's what well, we talked about, weaponizing shame mm-hmm. and how it's supposed to mold you into a certain yeah. way, almost to the mm-hmm. point where you put your own plans on hold. Yes. yes. You you mute your own voice, yeah. yes. which I think is the most... You drop dis- everything. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You drop everything. And I'm like, bro, that's not cool. Because I told her, I'm like, I, I love you and your mind. She has such a creative mind. And I'm like, yo, I want you to do this, that, and the third. But express yourself. Mm. Tell me I ain't say that. No, you have. See, and, and I learned that from you. I, I said, look, if there's one thing in this life that I want you to do with me is to express yourself. Mm. I don't care if you ain't got no money, you can't cook, this, that, and the third, but you wow. better do those things. Be but you still, you still have to express yourself. You don't mind it. All right? no. Yes. <laughs> no, but real, but real talk though. It's about expression yeah. because, yeah. like how you said earlier, when people sit on this couch, some of them have been under a veil mm. or probably behind a curtain Baby. for a very long mm. time, right. and this is now the platform that they got to express themselves. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's what I told them. I'm like, look, in our world that we got between you and I, which is practically everywhere we go. <laughs> Express yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the one thing that <laughs> my dad taught me this, and I've been quoting my dad this this whole damn time. I love this man. He said the one thing that that you should never do to yourself is mute. Don't ever keep quiet. <sighs> my mama told me that to this day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't ever keep quiet mm-hmm. because if there's something that you really want to do and you don't do it, the regret will kill you. Mm-hmm. And then you take it out on other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not. Mm. And whether it be through... She, your mom taught you this or your dad did? Dad did. Oh, okay. Mom taught me that as well. Mm-hmm. But dad taught... That's a Scorpio energy thing right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And listen, and dad's a Virgo, and you know them boys is... Okay? They want it this way and no other way. Yeah, mm. But having learned that from them too, two people that are very strong and firm in their beliefs and all this other jazz, just let me know that people who don't express themselves are doing themselves a disservice. Wow. And that's something that I cannot allow for a friend, 
a lover, even an acquaintance, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or even somebody that I work with. I'm yeah. like, look, if you're not feeling the working conditions, you better let me know, because yeah. I'm going to keep it pushing. <laughs> <All right? laughs> but you know, Jeff, like, I think that's so beautiful that you gave Aaron that, that space to